Hello YouTube, my name is Chinyere and before I start today's video, I need to drink water. Pour me water, pour me water, holy water, holy water, when this fire. Hey YouTube, my name is Chinyere and before I start today's video, I'm going to be placing two disclaimers out there. First off, I am not an immigration officer, neither am I a job employment agent. Secondly, the reasons that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today on this video are reasons based off my own personal experiences. They might not be your own story. But these are some of the questions that I get asked every now and again and I thought it would only be sensible for me to sit my butt down and create a video talking about it. So being a foreigner who had come to Ireland with the hopes of one day starting a job and getting into the corporate environment, something that was important to me was the attitude of the Irish people towards foreigners in the work environment and after I started working with them I realized that they are very approachable people they're very nice and warm like there's no grug right here everybody tries to just be very okay it's all right it's all fine everything is grand and sometimes it can get quite suspicious if you're not used to that kind of behavior from people um, I mean like it's actually allowed it's you're permitted as a new person in the office to ask questions no matter how stupid you think your questions might sound you're actually told um, make sure you ask questions whatever you think you do not understand make sure you ask and we'll get to explain them to you which i totally was not used to so in the first place asking questions was just not something that i was accustomed to because i was used to just coming into a place and trying to crack the code like for me one thing i used to tell my colleagues back then that i did not like was the fact that they put up this um, appearance to you and make you feel like oh all is well I like the way you work but then they go behind closed doors and start talking things about you and I was used to always knowing exactly who my enemies were when I walk into like a work environment so I used to tell my colleagues please 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 if you have any skepticism towards me or about me is yeah, about or towards me please let me know so that ahead of time i can begin to change my ways and address the situation and they were like no that's not the way we are we'd rather just do it behind closed doors but i'd rather that people just come out straight and let me know how exactly they feel towards me but anyways that aside i hope i'm not giving some kind of backhanded compliment there that aside the irish people in the first place when you get to meet them first time you realize that they are very very welcoming people they love small talks a lot especially about the weather so from talking about weather you can actually have like a lengthy conversation with them and almost feel like you have known them your entire life so the second reason why i love working in this country is because we do not get to pay council taxes on housing and also we do not get to pay water bills so that gets cut down on some of the bills that we get to pay in the country ireland is a very relaxed environment the irish people do not like to use work to kill themselves to say the least like seriously i remember when i started working in this country my first job i went to work that day and i resumed like eight o'clock in fact for you know bob months i wasn't taking my tea breaks because i couldn't see reason to take tea breaks i mean i resume at eight o'clock and then someone is like go on your tea break by 10 o'clock which is like 30 minutes to do what why would i be going on tea break when i have come to work in the morning <laughs> so i used to let my tea breaks just pass then there'll also be another break which starts from about 12 o'clock between 12 to 2 o'clock and that's like an hour break which we get to take and my job actually used to end by 4 o'clock like seriously how awesome can that be i eventually started taking my one hour breaks to take a walk back home and i just used to go back home to sleep and reboot my brain back <laughs> into work mode and it was just a nice way to just go to the office in a relaxed mode and come back home i mean like what more could I ask for? Being Chinyere, the young lady who hopes to one day start her own family, I would say that the work-life balance here in Ireland is pretty considerate compared to my own home country and also to a number of countries out there. Um, the employers here are very, very considerate. They see some necessity to allow their staff to take vacations to relax, rejuvenate, and come back to be effective at work. My former job, which was, which was with the private sector, allowed me 28 vacation days um, fully paid. And my present job, which is with the public service, allows me 30 vacation days fully paid. I also get seven, um, seven days for sick leave, which I also get paid for. 
and um, in my former job with the private company i was allowed to either opt to work on um bank holidays or not and if you get to work on bank holidays you get to receive um, some special pays for those days um, in my recent job which is with the public service i do not get to work on bank holidays and i still get fully paid there was actually a time in my former job when my manager called me one day and she was like chi chi you need to take some time off work you need to apply for your vacations to take time off work because the year is about to come to an end the work year is about to come to an end so i'll either move it into another year so she gave me the option of either moving it to another year or i could um apply in lieu of my vacation days for payment or i could better still <laughs> forfeit the holiday for my company as a sign of my dedication and passion for my job of course you know which one i took those are some of the things that we get to enjoy also maternity leave here is about six months ish yeah six months uh, of which i hope that by the time i have my own kids it will be extended to nine months as a special child that i'm going to be having so i just hope that it's extended to nine months and somehow i'll get to enjoy that holiday but anyways i think they are quite considerate also if you're ill um you're actually advised or at least in my jobs to tell the manager um so you don't come to work sick because if you get to come to work sick then you're looking at you like you're trying to transfer some disease some incurable disease to them and they actually do not find it funny so as much as possible we advised not to come to the office when we are sick which is incredible my wages are actually higher than my counterparts in the uk and this is because i have done a small research over the years i have lived and worked here um comparing my salary to my counterparts who are in the uk so um the taxes are higher anyways and the cost of living but i'm not here to talk about the reasons why i do not love like working in ireland i'm here to talk about the reasons why i like working in ireland so um considerably i will say that the wages here in ireland are higher and even after taxes my salary is still higher than my counterparts in the uk so that's just something which i believe is some form of compensation for those of us who are working in the country and i think it totally makes sense in the grand scheme of things ireland is a very small country of about 4.5 million people as compared to the 199 million people that make up the population of where i am from and so that means that the struggle for the survival of the fetus is quite slimmer here than back home in my own country and also traveling around the country can be very easy it's actually very possible for you to do a road trip around ireland in one day if you're that adventurous and also travel across europe is very cheap thanks to the very cheap airfares that we have in this country um, you can actually make a trip from dublin or shannon or cork to the uk um, and you can get like cheap fares for as low as 20 euros return tickets which i believe is crazy incredible and um, it's just fascinating to know that this kind of things are available for the people who live in this country so that you can actually get to make business plans or business trips from one country to another without spending so much in the name of travel now something that i do not get to miss so much about my own country is the lack of freedom of speech and that is something that ireland gets to afford me like that is an incredible right as far as i'm concerned i know somebody else will probably look at that and think it's so inconsequential so insignificant but if your voice has been reduced to the barest minimum and you have so much to say then i will tell you that i have come to enjoy this right in this country as a foreigner and i know that lots of countries that there are lots of luxurious countries being painted out there like dubai and japan korea those are really really amazing places to live in but something you do not get to enjoy when you live in those countries is freedom of speech you cannot just express your opinions in those countries and that is something that i have gotten to enjoy in this country so far working here and like if you're working here and you do not feel like you're being treated equally you can actually get to make a complaint and have your complain treated accordingly i know that as a foreigner that can be quite scary because you're scared of losing your hair so working in this country has offered me such a great opportunity to not just fend for myself or earn money for myself but also to be able to support people financially back home and i think that is such a great privilege that i cannot exchange for anything in this world like for some people the money here will probably be such a very minimal amount but trust me where i'm coming from it is so much like you can go a long way in the lives of lots of people so i'm always very grateful when i send money home and there's just somebody that 
the money gets to change something in their lives and well that's just something that i am grateful for the opportunity i don't get to do it all the time though but i know that when i was back home in nigeria um the job i earned was not paying so well it was paying so well according to my own standard of lifestyle but by the time i started working here doing the same job my goodness my salary pro probably went like five times higher than what i was earning back home and i always used to sit down and wonder like what exactly was i doing with my life all this time around why didn't i just move to another country but anyways anytime you wake up that is your own morning so guys this is these are just some of the reasons why i am grateful or why i love working here in ireland and i thought i should share these thoughts with you guys i know that i could go on and on and on talking till the end of today and even up until tomorrow but we do not want to make this a 48 hour video so i'm just going to stop here and wrap up this video thank you guys so much for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel then there's a triangular button on the side that is red in color you can hit that button and give this video a thumbs up and until i see you next time thank you so much for all of your support all of your comments i love to read from each and every one of you take care of yourselves and stay blessed Salon.